Hey, hey, what is going on everybody? East Tactics here. And I had to create this video really fast because I wanted to get these skid guards on the top of my vehicle ASAP. Um, so I figured I'd make this video real quick, show you guys exactly you know, what they look like, how awesome they are, how easy they are to install. Um, and also remind you guys that uh, if you watched my last video where I showcased basically two things, these Skull 40 millimeter fan covers, as well as this plate right here that attaches to, in my opinion, the best um, heat sink in the industry for you know our classic motors, 2050 motors, and a lot of the other motors. In fact, this Hobby Wing or Ya yeah Racing heat sink can fit over quite a few different size motors. It's, it's got the ability to basically, you know, be tightened down um, with a little bit of universal, universal, universality, universality, universal, I don't even know if that could be a plural word. But anyway, it's pretty universal for a lot of different motor sizes. I mean, if your motor can is huge, then maybe it wouldn't work. But otherwise, this silver attachment plate makes it so you can put these 40 millimeter fans on it. So easy. So anyway, why I'm bringing that up is because this video I want to showcase these skid plates and if you jump back to this video and I'm putting it right here in the top of the, the screen it should pop up right now go to that video and watch it or whatever look at the links in the description if you go and order a set of these or if you order this this little mount or this attachment plate um, or if you get the skid plates or anything from this gentleman's store all you need to do is leave a comment in that video with keywords I ordered and you'll be qualified for one of the East Tactics mod compilation boxes, which basically includes all of these little gadgets that are just little mods that I've done along the way that really make a big difference in your RC car, all put together in one box. Oh yeah, and before we get into that, I actually want to show you guys something real quick. Check this out. So I know a lot of you are waiting for me to do an update video on springs, right? I mean, look at all these springs I've got. These are the Armonero springs. These right here are a 12 pound variant of springs that came from CenturySpring.com. These right here are all your stock springs, including back in the day when I ordered some orange springs, uh, Techno Orange Springs, which are pretty much the exact same thing as stock, which was not what I wanted. Anyway, so the update that I want to basically show you guys is I also got some of these springs. I'm calling these springs beast springs because these springs are going to be insane. I don't even know if they're going to be usable because they are insanely stiff. And if they're not tameable or they just create way too much bounce, then I won't use them at all. But what I can tell you right now is that these springs right here, the Arma Nero Big Rock Springs, um, these are the 75 millimeter variants. Uh, it's hard to find these right now. The ones that you can find are actually shorter and you don't want the shorter ones. You would, if you do find these, you definitely want the 75 millimeter because that's already too short for our shocks. The front ones come at like, I think they're 85 millimeters minimum for, for the, um, you know, here's the stock shocks right here. These are the stock front shocks and these are the stock back shocks. You can see that these already come short. So you absolutely, if you do find the Nero shock springs, you do want the 75 millimeter length variants. So these are rated at 18 pounds. And if you notice, I can squeeze that all the way down. It's pretty hard to do, but I can get it all the way down. Now these ones are 12 pound springs from Century Springs and they're longer. When I try squeezing these down, um, it's, very similar, even though these are 12 pound springs because they're longer, it's very similar to the Nero springs. So these are pretty likely gonna be the springs that I go to as far as recommending if you cannot find the Arma Nero Big Rock Springs. And they've been, they, they've been linked in previous videos down in the description. Um, these have been, the part number and everything if you, uh, if you dug a little bit. I will put them in this video as well. Um, and the reason why I've been kind of waiting to do testing is check this out. I wanted to order a brand new set of shocks. These are the stock shock springs and they're actually the, sh the shock springs um, for the Arma EXB. Um, 
which I think are the same shocks anyway, regardless of whether or not you go with, although they do look like they come with better the better rod ends. These are the rear. They actually are, um, they're not the HD rod ends, but they are upgraded rod ends. These rod ends are as tanky as these HD rod ends that um, you could pick up for, that I've always recommended. Um, if, it, if it isn't for the DIY rod ends that I've, that I've created myself, um, which are also very strong, if you're in a pinch and you just you know feel like taking your Dremel, doing something unique with uh, some extra parts you have lying around, go the route of the DIY rod end. However, for those of you that are wondering about the HD rod ends, these rod ends that come on the EXB are definitely as tanky. So I would say these are HD rod ends. Real quick too, another thing that I picked up because I picked up these new, brand new, beautiful, mint condition shocks, um, I picked up this right here, which is the Techno Shock Tool. This thing is really cool because you can grab the rod without worrying about marring it up because you do not want to mar up the rod. Um, and also, if you want to pop that little thing right there out, you stick it right here and then you just basically crimp down and that thing just pops the little inner section out super easy, so. But my goal for getting these was because these are in mint condition and just look how chewed up my, my stock ones are. And that's because I use like your classic wrench, which was just tearing it up and I knew it would do it. But anyway, so now I've got something that's gonna basically protect my shock and prevent it from damaging it. So part of my testing is I actually wanna toss the stock springs back on to kind of take me back to the feel of what it w felt like to have these and also to do comparative drop distance tests and everything. Ultimately, um, if I'm gonna do a comprehensive test for you guys to basically determine that these springs right here are still, in my opinion, better um, as far as for bashing, because I think I do think that you do lose a little bit of the plushness and the handling that you would get for, you know, when you revert away from the stock springs. However, what you gain is a much more robust protection for your vehicle when it comes to landing hard and bashing. So if you can give up a little bit of what people would call attributes you'd need for racing, if you were like in the racing circuit, um, for bashing, then you're gonna be more inclined to wanna go with, you know, something like these heavy duty springs so that you can actually bash protect your vehicle, protect your electronics from breaking more, especially once you've got your vehicle a lot heavier, right? So anyway, I wanted to wait for these to come in. And so my next video is gonna be all about basically putting these on, getting that feel back and how they feel, and then throwing, all, then throwing these on all four shocks. And then I'm actually gonna throw on these super crazy beefy tank springs. I call them beast springs. And if these things still perform to the level these are doing, <laughs> and I can increase the drop distance of the vehicle another 10 or 20 inches without chassis slap, then you know I'm gonna be raving about it. And so stay tuned for the video that basically goes over those details. Anyway guys, all that aside, this is what this video is about right here. And so first thing I wanna tell you about these is A, buy some so that you can get in the drawing. Go to my previous video and leave a comment in that video saying that you potentially ordered either this, the Skull Crusher uh, 40 millimeter fan covers, or that plate. But again, the only way to be in the drawing is to be leaving a comment in the previous video. So what do I like about these? This is the reason why I really like these. They're made out of a, I have another set here which by the way, will be included either red or black, your choice, you'll have to pick. Like if you want red or black sent to you in the mod box compilation that you could potentially win, you're gonna have to make a choice. Do you want red or, or do you want blue or black? But here's the thing that's so cool about these is not only are they thin, they're very like, they're just classy looking because they're small. They're, they're not, they're just gonna do the job of, of taking the impact of the scratching when you land on your top side. And they're also bendable, which I feel is huge because this allows you to, 
if you really wanted to, you could put this thing over like this if you wanted to, which would look, you know, absolutely horrendous. But I did actually take advantage of the tip of it bending down slightly because I wanted these to be forward focused because the, the scratching really does start here on this, uh, on this when it hits the ground. So same with this right here. On this section here, it actually does bend slightly to accommodate for the shape of the vehicle, which you know what? You don't find that in all, um, all of them. I ordered these a long time ago and they're stiff as a board. To make matters worse, the bottom end is not even flat. It's like, it's concave the opposite direction you'd want it. It doesn't even fit on straight. So there's no bending, it's super stiff. And look how, I mean, just look how big that is. That's just incredibly, I don't know, like just chunky in my opinion. So what I feel, I honestly and genuinely feel like these are the sleekest and best like made skid guards that you can find. There might be other ones, and if you know of them, by all means, uh, uh, leave a comment and let me know. And if that person wants to, you know, promote their product, I'm all down with letting, with sharing it with the community. So anyway, so I installed this this side, um, you know, basically first, and I just kind of did it really quick, threw it in, and then I went over the details when I installed this side, just to give a few little tactics. I mean, it's super straightforward how to do this, but just to give you a few quick tactics on how I did it. It's literally as simple as just placing this over where you want it, grabbing a, this is a, a 764 drill bit, toss that in your drill, and like, just by holding it, you just basically tap your holes, and then tap your holes. On the flip side, you just gotta take these things that it comes with and you can literally hand tighten those things on. I did go in after and just tighten it just a little bit more while squeezing together as hard as I could because the threading in these things, I don't even know if there's existent threading. They're just they're just um, built to be slightly smaller. So you wanna make sure you put a squeezing pressure when you're tightening it down. And other than that, they just went on super simple. I did have to kind of rip up my little pad here and um, and get it out of the way so I can get these under it and then I just glued it back in, so no big deal. But anyway guys, that's basically what I wanted to share with you real quick, just that I threw these on, give you a quick update on what's coming when it comes to the Shock Springs experiment. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I couldn't be more pleased with these skid plates and again, jump over to the previous video if you do decide to order some so that you can be in the drawing. I do wanna take a moment to really thank the people that have supported my channel, whether it be people that are um, supporting me on Patreon or just shot me something through PayPal, you know, just as a quick thank you. I really want to say thank you to those individuals that have done that. Also, just to, to you guys who leave positive comments in my videos all the time or who email me and give me tips and advice and, you know, or people that like um, have these cool products. I just want to thank you guys for participating in the ecosystem that is East Tactics and, um, I'm humbled and thankful. So if you're not, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscription button for me, hit the like button for me. East Tactics, out.